Hey guys, today I'm going to take you through how to install a new turn signal bulb in a 2017 and up Chrysler Pacifica. Um, this is actually pretty easy to do uh, with a few basic tools, which I'm going to show you in just a moment. Um, and the bulb that you're going to replace is right behind this rightmost uh, tail light assembly here. Okay, so what do we need? There are really only three things that you need to do this swap, so it's pretty easy. You need the socket wrench with an extension on it. This is an 8-inch extension. You need the bulbs themselves. These are the 7443 style Sylvania bulbs. And you need a Torx T30 uh, bit for your socket wrench. Uh, I also had these pry tools, but I ended up not using them. Uh, they're kind of optional. The first thing you're going to want to do is open your rear tailgate. That's going to give you access to these Torx bolts that hold the light assembly in. Use your Torx bit and your socket wrench, as I'm showing here, to remove the outer tail light assembly. You're going to have two Torx bolts on this lower tail light assembly, and then there are going to be two Torx bolts directly above them, which I'll show you in just a moment, on the garnish, the black garnish assembly that's just above. Um, that you'll need to remove. So there are four bolts in total. Once you remove each bolt, set it aside in a safe place because you're going to need to reinstall them uh, when you put the taillight assembly back in. Next, you're going to want to remove the two Torx bolts that are holding the black garnish assembly in that I was referring to before. It's this black piece here that's sort of a triangular shape that's just above that uh, outer taillight assembly. And what that's going to do is that's going to give you good access to the top of the taillight assembly so that it makes it a lot easier to pull the taillight out. Um, you, can get a, you can get better leverage on it, you can get, get a good grip on it. And, um, get it out easily without breaking it. So while I think you probably could uh, not, you know, not remove this upper triangular piece and just remove the lower tail light um, without taking this, this garnish out, I think it's, I mean, it takes uh, you know, a minute to, to take it out and I think it makes it a lot easier. It's, it's a lot less chance of you breaking uh, this, you know, this lower tail light assembly um, if you remove the upper garnish. Once you have the second bolt out, you can remove this garnish. And you want to just kind of jiggle it a little bit and pull it sort of straight out. There are two posts that have these, these round uh, joints on them that stick into these, um, these sockets that are, that are on the car, and that's what holds it in. They're two plastic posts. And you really just have to, you know, sort of have to just pull it out. It takes a little bit of force to do it. Um, but you want to try, to try to pull it straight out if you can. You can see here, that's a little blurry there, you can see here the sort of the sockets where those posts were, and you can see the socket also is holding that lower taillight assembly in. So you're going to do the same thing now with the taillight, and you want to just, like I said, pull it, kind of jiggle it a little bit, and pull it straight, try to pull it straight out. Um, you want to try to do it, you know, carefully, uh, without without breaking the plastic uh, pieces, but you want to just sort of pull it straight out towards you uh, when you pull it out. And it, like I said, it does take a little bit of force, but it's as you can see, it's much easier once you've removed the upper garnish to uh, to get that lower piece out. Now you can pull the actual bulb socket itself out. This is where you're going to put the bulb in. It's this round uh, black circular piece here with the, with the wire coming out. You just turn it counterclockwise and then it pops right out. And there's the bulb. That's the bulb you're going to replace. Um, it just pulls straight out. It does take some force to pull out. You kind of have to jiggle it a little bit, but it also just kind of pulls straight out. 
Now, one thing I would recommend is wearing gloves. I was not wearing gloves here. I should have been. Um, the bulb could break potentially while you're trying to pull it out. Uh, no, hopefully not, but uh, better safe than sorry. So again, not a good example by me by not wearing gloves, but uh, you should wear gloves when you're trying to, uh, to pull the bulb out and also when you're putting the new bulb in. So now go ahead and take your new bulb out of the package and you're going to, uh, like I said, put it in just the way you, uh, you took the old one out. So you just push it straight in uh, and this is kind of a good time uh, to compare the new bulb to the old bulb, just a final check to make sure you've got the correct bulb and they look the same uh, before you put it in. And it does take some force, like I said, to, to push it in. So uh, just push it in firmly and uh, it's just sort of a you know, kind of a uh, pressure fitting. There's no, it doesn't really snap in or anything. It just kind of pushes, pushes in firmly. Um, and then you're going to want to go ahead and twist the, uh, twist the uh, socket back into the assembly. Uh, and then what I would recommend also before you reinstall everything uh, is to test it out. So you know, go ahead and make sure that the tail light is, is not going to fall, but um, go ahead and you know, turn the car on, make sure that the turn signal of the bulb actually works and it's in tightly enough uh, before you go ahead and reinstall everything. Once you're satisfied that everything is working properly, you're going to want to go ahead and push the uh, this outer taillight assembly back into place into with those posts, the two posts that are on the back side, into the sockets. And you'll hear them both click in just like that. Uh, make sure it's fairly firm. I mean, obviously you haven't put the, the Torx bolts back in yet, but uh, it should still be held firmly in place by the two posts. Then you're going to want to do the same thing with the garnish. Push it back in just the way you removed it. Um, and again, push it, push it in firmly. Um, and you want to make sure you hear those posts click into place. Now go ahead and put all four of the Torx bolts that you removed back into place. And that's it, you're done. Um, I hope that this uh, installation video was helpful to you. If it was, uh, please hit like and subscribe. And uh, also feel free to leave any comments uh, below in the comment section, any questions or observations you may have. Uh, thanks a lot and we'll see you next time.